We're, we're here today to talk about what happens to children with child services gets uh, out of control, the local law enforcement gets out of control, and that's what we're seeing today around the world, but particularly in the states here, where child services are being called on people that are just trying to get their children healthy eating natural foods. Yeah. Uh, and also um, for, for other reasons, which is crazy, you know, not taking their, their therapy of chemotherapy and things like that. And we've talked about some we've had in here, and I'm very familiar. Parents call calls us all the time running with their child, and it's like it's a tough world out there. So much corruption in our uh, judicial system yeah. and, uh, and child services. These guys are just, they're, they're out. You know, it's one thing to take a child from an abusive family. It's another when a family is trying to get their child healthy. And that's what's going. And they take the word of a medical doctor who has no idea what health is, has no idea how to get healthy, has no idea what causes man's problems in the first place, is probably the most ignorant of all the healing modalities, and they're not a healing modality, but ignorant of all the what's called health <laughs> modalities on the planet, of anything that would help any, any child, let alone understand the genetic weaknesses involved in your children and all the things like that. And that's what we're into. We're into regenerating genetic weaknesses of the tissues. We're into hydrating, getting this lymph moving, getting all the inflammation out, and rebuilding the children. Mm -hmm. And they don't, that's so far away from their, their thought processes. All they do is snatch and grab. Yeah. And it's a sad thing. So we're doing this video to put it out there. Uh, good story here. So we'll let him tell you the story and what's, what's going on. And so my wife and I had our eight-year-old son taken from us. And... It was under the most egregious conditions possible because uh, there is a NRS statute in the state of Nevada where our son was taken from us. There's an NRS 200.5085, which basically says that parents are entitled to take care of their child through uh, remedial, non-medical means as long as they're acting in good faith and the place that they're taking their child is recognized and permitted by the state of Nevada. So we ended up did, uh, taking our child to a, uh, a naturopathic doctor, but I need to back up a little bit just by explaining that how did we get in the situation where we ended up taking our child to the naturopathic doctor. So uh, I was out of town and my wife uh, was looking after our eight-year-old boy and he had uh, uh, some Ling Ling uh, chicken dumplings and uh, he got like a fever that evening and then the next uh, morning he had uh, seizure-like symptoms, like he kind of fell to the ground and shook a little bit. And so my wife, uh, uh, without my guidance, uh, called uh, the paramedics and they took him to uh, 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 a hospital in Henderson, Nevada. And he stayed there for about maybe like eight hours. And what they did is they hit the radiation right away, right? They gave him a CAT scan. Yeah. Oh. And so, uh, you know, they should have at least done the EEG there as yeah, well, but yeah. they didn't do that. And then they told my wife, they said, okay, well, he needs to go to a hospital where they have a child neurologist. And then uh, they transferred him to UMC, University Medical Center Children's Hospital in downtown Las Vegas. And unfortunately... Uh, those doctors uh, didn't follow, say, even their their own, uh, say, uh, protocols whereby they even provide a proper <coughs> diagnosis. Because what they did is uh, they just assumed that he was suffering from seizures and gave him heavy-duty uh, seizure-like uh, medicines like Fosfenitoin and Keppra and Ativan, which if you take the time, which my wife and I later on did, uh, oh, yeah. when, when you look at these side effects, oh, yeah. they mention the word death many yeah. times. Oh, yeah. And you say to yourself, wait a minute, mm -hmm. why should any Western medicine mm -hmm. or why should any medicine, period, if we consider medicine and doctors are supposed to do no harm, why, sh why, why is this thing deadly? I mean, it begs the question, why are you putting in a poison into a, a, a young boy? I mean, it's completely insane. Why do we do? Why do we allow the medical community to do that anywhere? Right. Mm -hmm. We do, and chemotherapy. But we don't have a case with. You don't have a choice with your child. They stole your child, mm -hmm. and then they they these monster. And they don't realize we're talking about spirituality here. Yeah. Big channel for the negative forces. These guys. Big channel. They're not channel for the positive forces. That they, they, they're so. They, they're channels for the negative forces. Go ahead, sorry. So. Uh, my wife gives me a call, and uh, I fly back as soon as I can. I fly back in a couple days. Uh, I was on the East Coast, flew back to uh, Nevada, and I went straight to the hospital. And the doctor there uh, basically was saying, "I'm here to tre I'm treating his symptoms." And I said, 
I said, we don't want his symptoms treated. What we want is one of two things. We want him released or we want him uh, taken to a better hospital because he was not this way before I left. In other words, can you imagine the boy's just basically laying there kind of lifeless and he can't talk? And I'm saying to myself, well, I already, I already know from, from learning from Dr. Morse, you know, they're giving him very heavy-duty acidic mm -hmm. form of poisons mm -hmm. that he couldn't even talk. He wasn't yeah. really yeah. Uh, with it at all. He was completely yeah. incoherent. Yeah. And I felt terrible, so I was very proactive and very uh, 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 emphatic that he, like I said, he'd either be released or it, uh, he'd be released to us or he'd be taken to a better hospital. And so what happened is my wife and I were rewarded with uh, a, a present uh, of uh, the next day, a visit by CPS. And so you think to yourself, now wait a minute, did the hospital doctor just violated our civil rights and, did, and involve CPS when there was, no, there was no need to do so? So in other words, she pulled out the big guns immediately. Yeah, and that's what gets me. They think they have the power and they get mm -hmm. away with this. And it's like, how do you stop this out of control thing with medical doctors so narcissistic and they know? You're saying you know, there was no obvious uh, 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 harm that you did to this child. The child just went into maybe a seizure or something. Why would you call child services on this? Mm -hmm. See, it's getting very out of balance. It's in the Kali Yuga. It's like, maybe. So on the... Uh, uh one of the one of the reasons when I looked at the medical record, medical records after the fact is she said she was thanking the CPS getting involved because I was such a bad father because he had apnea. So what do I come to find out later is that phosphenitoin causes apnea, right? In other words, the poison she's given him is the uh, the very same reason why she thinks I'm a, a, a bad father. I'm like. Well, this is insane. You're giving him a known poison that's giving him apnea. And you're blaming me for it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a father and I created apnea with my child. I mean, these people are way out there. Yes, yes. Too yeah, far out there. It, too, I too, know it. I know it. It's too painful to it put is. up with. Well, this is why I tell the YouTubers. Mm -hmm. Get your children healthy. Start working on them. Mm -hmm. yes. Because once they go into a, a, a medical... You can be one of the sorriest parents on the planet if you ever did that, yeah. and that's sad. You can't take your, you can't, you, you want to go to a hospital just to double check and make sure everything's okay because that's what they should do. Hospitals should uh, stabilize mm -hmm. you, uh, and, but instead, uh, many people don't leave them. Yeah. I've got plenty of cases where we talked about it over the YouTube where they went in because they were filtering. They thought they had an infection. They were just filtering, gave them antibiotics, and killed them, and they were just filtering. No problem. They weren't sick. Nothing. Right. Yeah. So this is this is this. It gets pretty bad there because they came to your house. Even yes. They brought two goons with guns to your house. Uh, two child services uh, telling you what was all that about. That was about uh, after we left the hospital. But just to uh, uh, get say the viewers up to speed on the, the chronology of it real quickly is that. Imagine your boy's in a western hospital for six days and the doctors don't care if he moves his bowels at all. Yeah, he's getting yeah, backed up. That's the one on me right there. Oh. Yeah, he's getting backed up and that um, on the last day to the, that he's there, on the sixth day, is that uh, I wasn't there. My wife and the biological father flew him from China. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, the doctors kind of uh, uh, pulled a fast one with my wife and the biological father by saying, we can release him on this last day but you have to sign off on MRI contrast. And so it was already in the medical records where I had let them know. I said, I basically told the doctors, I said, look, as long as you're breaking all our, our parental rights, I said, if you decide to do an MRI, do not do it with MRI contrast. And so unfortunately, the doctor comes in and pulls a fast one with my wife and coerces her. And the informed consent, the informed oh consent form God. basically says, you cannot coerce a parent or any guardian into doing what they sure. did and they broke the law oh yeah so sure. oh you got a lot of points you can go after him but he like yes. talking about earlier you gotta get a corrupt judge right you know and he's gonna go oh, come on kick those parents out you yeah. know this is yeah yeah so unfortunately they gave uh, uh our boy uh mri contrast yeah. uh, gadavist which is a, a gadolinium yeah. heavy metal based dye mm -hmm. And so what that really did is it turned him into an autistic battle oh, case geez. basically really? right away. I mean, you could see the difference because yeah. I saw yeah. seen him uh, earlier that, that yeah. morning. And so when I pick up, you know, my boy, uh, he urinates all over me. And uh, I'm thinking in my mind, I said, all I want to do is get him out of this insane asylum oh, hospital and get him healed and detoxed oh. and follow your protocol. And so uh, we get him home. 
and we give them fruits and fruit juices. And uh, we went on for about a week trying to get as many fluids and fruits in them. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we consulted with a naturopathic doctor, and uh, she did a uh, she did some testing. She did an exam, and then uh, we had uh, say good success with uh, you know what what she recommended. The Myers. Uh, yes, the Myers. Yeah. And uh, so uh, after that, then uh, we consulted with her uh, by text message to see if we could get say some more um, uh, Myers uh, cocktail, and uh, <laughs> then. Uh, Excuse we me. went to a, a, a clinic on the Las Vegas Strip that she recommended. Hmm. When we got there, the doctor did a, a, a bait and switch. He told me over the phone, yes, I'll take care of him, I'll service him. And then when we get there, he says, no, I'm not going to perform service. And that uh, I, I said, hey, look, you know, I'll sign a waiver saying, you know, uh, I'm absolving you of any uh, liability here. I said, please just provide service. And so he, re he refused. And then the next day, uh, the I don't know if it was out of spite, out of ignorance, out of control. What, what's going on with these people's minds? But yeah. there was an individual there at that IV clinic, IV therapy clinic, that he called CPS late in the night. And then, really, they responded very quickly because I only learned this after by reading the reports after the fact. So imagine you're at home with your boy. He's on an MRS 2000, which is the battery charger. Right, that we're, we're nursing him and we're going to take him in for uh, uh, ozone uh, therapy like the next day to go back to uh, um, the uh, naturopathic doctor. And so the, 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 you, get, you get the doorbell rings at 11.30 at night God. on a Sunday night like yeah. these in the night. That I look That's what they are, rats in the night. Yes. So I look through the peephole and I see what looks like two police officers and two other people that uh, I open up the door and I said, they said, you know, here we're, we're here to take a look at your son. And I said, uh, look, I said, I don't stand under you because, you know, the language they say, do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. I say, no, I don't stand under you. And I said, we're under the care of a naturopathic doctor. We don't want your help and we don't need your help. And so he says to me at that point, yeah, he, says, like that. he says, open up the door. And so obviously, what, 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 can, what are my choices? Yeah. I have to open up the door. Oh, yeah. oh, no. So they come in, they basically surround us. Um, they make an offer to my wife saying he can go to either Sunrise Hospital or UMC Children's Hospital. So I write, I carefully take the time to write down Sunrise Hospital's address. About 10 minutes later, that doctor says he's going to UMC. We're like, wait a minute. This is the same hospital that turned him into an autistic basket case, and we let them know that. And, you know, again, it, fell, it falls on deaf ears. You're yeah. dealing with people oh, yeah. that have oh, yeah. no heart, uh, no sympathy, no uh, nothing. Uh, and so they, uh, they, 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 they call the paramedics, they take them away, they take them back to UMC Jesus Children's Hospital, Christ. and then they proceed to basically chemicalize him over the next two weeks. He gets into a, a, what's like a, almost like a care meridian, it's like a, a halfway house before they pawn him off on a foster care family. Now this is what I don't understand. Mm -hmm. So basically, they're basically taking your child and giving them to someone else because yeah. of what? Yeah. Well, I tell you what, me, I'd be finding me some of the greatest attorneys around there, and I got one to, to kind of and uh, take those guys and, you know, put a little blur up their ass. But you know what? I mean, it's bad everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's bad everywhere. And I hear stories but, but stories with the chemo. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, then they kill the kid or, you know, that sort of thing. And, but they're snakes. They'll go to the wife or they'll go to the husband. They'll snake around and slither around like the dirty bastards they are. Yeah. And no offense to people that are listening to this, but this is out of control. These people are narcissistic beyond their... And they, what they don't realize, and sad thing for them is they don't realize the karma they're in. Because when you take someone's child, somewhere in your journey and creation, you're going to experience the same thing. Something's going to be taken away from you that's dear to your heart and going to rip it out of you. And so you're, you, don't, you don't get away with doing these things. But they think they do. And it's just unconsciousness. That's what keeps creation going, is unconsciousness. Because if you're conscious, you know, you're not going to... Creation wouldn't be going like it's going. Yeah. Well, it's worth saying, you know, along those lines about CPS, like the checks and balances, right? Is that actually in 2010, Senator Nancy Schaefer was going to come out with a movie and also do her very best to say, shut down CPS the way that we know it. Mm -hmm. And so what happened is 
uh, basically the powers that be said, oh no, Nancy Schaefer from Georgia, you're not, you're not going to interfere with our child pedophilia multi-billion dollar market because yeah, yeah. it's just as competitive yeah. with uh, illegal drugs and legal yeah. arms oh, trade. Yeah, I bet. So yeah. uh, you're not touching that same Nancy Schaefer. And then what they did, unfortunately, is they made it look like a murder-suicide. They killed her and her husband. Wow. And so she was snubbed down. This is a U.S. Senator. And then you have somebody like Sean McMillan in California who was a CPS attorney. Now, he's on the record for saying, uh, he says, I do what I do to get the kids back because they're stealing children. Yeah. So he's flat out admitting that CPS yeah. is stealing children. Yeah. I called his office. I said, hey, we're in Nevada. Can you help us out? Sorry, we don't have anybody in your state. Yeah. I'm like, do you have any referrals? Yeah. No. I'm like, yeah. okay, this is heartbreaking. Because it is heartbreaking. We need more of those attorneys and not these crappy attorneys that are out there yes. that are second rate. I mean, I've been through so many attorneys, mm -hmm. and I could count out of probably 50 attorneys I've been through in my life, maybe two. Yes. Mm -hmm. And out of how many judges I've been in front of, federal judges, one. I mean, you know, you you you're 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 like a like me. I'm a warrior kind of guy, mm -hmm. and I I mean I'll fight for that. Yeah. But it's like everything makes you want to fight all the time, you know. It's like come on, chill out. <laughs> but it is, it all comes out of this narcissistic, breathing, negative, festering medical mm -hmm. that doesn't that uses toxic. We talked about it before we went on tape here. How toxic they are and how they. Kill people. Now, I mean, if it was known how many people actually die at allopathy from pharmaceuticals, the atrogenics, the hospitals, and all that, it's it's astronomical. Half a million die just from hospital errors that are recorded in this country every year. That that was that was that was Consumer Reports <laughs> saying it's over. And they came out one time. Protect yourself from your hospital. This is Consumer Reports yeah. front page says protect yourself from your hospital stay. Mm -hmm. Over half a million people die each year. Well, I'm very familiar with hospitals. You can double or triple that easy. Right. And even Dr. McCola mm -hmm. is on record sure. as saying that uh, uh, doctors are the third leading cause of death in yeah, the United absolutely. States. Absolutely. So it's all it's all a system that's out of control, but it's also a very yeah. disrespectful system because yeah. when somebody like a parent or a patient says, look, I don't want my symptoms suppressed. I actually want to go for the road of healing. Well, I want to no get better. No clue to what that is. See, not only do they have a clue, but they're so they're 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 so antagonistic mm -hmm. towards anybody who wants. In other words, they say, "Well, who do you think you are? You want to heal yourself? Exactly. I'm, I'm 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 the MD with the gold exactly. plated degree. Exactly. How dare you exactly. question me? You know, you know those people. Mm -hmm. I love those people because I don't take crap from them at all. Because <laughs> that's why I teach you guys everything I do. Because if you get smart, you can sit down in front of those jokers and make them look real stupid. Because they are. Yeah. I mean, when you sit there and you're, you're saying you don't know what causes anything, most of it's autoimmune, or you forgot to hang up your clothes in the morning, who knows? You know, I mean, this is pretty stupid. And then to get toxic dyes, and this, I mean, there's enough lawsuits around this. Uh, um, dye, this contrast dye, yeah. and I was a little disappointed when you said that uh, Norris dropped his suit because if anybody, mm -hmm. because there's a whole bunch of people there are whip right. and, and that they've hurt, and uh, they, I can't imagine they got to Chuck. Uh, <laughs> I mean, come on. I, and let's say you and I uh, get the skivvy, you know, we're going to be guessing, we'd be speculating, yeah. but there have been just to say, yeah, just to it. speak to that, there have been over a thousand. Lawsuits filed against the gadolinium heavy metal uh, uh, contrast dye yeah. agent uh, manufacturers, that man and so there's been much. yeah, there's been over a thousand. And really, what you see is it's mainly out of court settlements. So we don't know that the dollar amounts, see, but that's the thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you got that much money; it all's out of court. Yes, you know that's the federal attorney that worked for us. Everything we'll just settle everything out of court. Like really? Well, I don't settle. I mean, I haven't settled with you. I don't settle. I mean, if you're wrong and you're hurting people, you, we're going to come after you. And I think the problem is not enough people have done that. So I'm hoping through our sites and all you guys and everybody out here that we get more and more people with strength and power to say no. But what we need is some senators and stuff to come. I mean, it sounds stupid as hell, but to change the law, I mean, to write yeah. this in and get these people out of here because it's out of control. It is out it's of one control. thing when you're beating your child and all that. We've got a couple of cases going on where their parents are being charged with murder for feeding their, their kids raw foods. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's gotten real bad. 
And here's one of the problems that medical and child services, they just don't understand. We are facing some of the worst genetic weaknesses in our children ever, mm -hmm. ever seen on this planet. They have no clue what that is, how to deal with genetic weaknesses in tissues or cells, and how to rebuild all that. Mm -hmm. On top of that, the nervous systems are just just at this doorway to where something for your son, just a little thing could trip him into autism. Right. Just a, you know, many of them, just the vaccines doing it. But uh, now the, the nervous systems, the autonomics, because the adrenals are getting so weak that neural, neurotoxins are so plentiful right now. There's over 2,000 neurotoxins in our atmosphere. 2,000. And, and, and neurotoxins can make you go, Ugh. Yes. Yeah. What's your take on video games and that being a factor in causing seizures or epilepsy? I just said radiation, and then, of course, some games train right brain, left brain. I mean, there's all kinds of things going on there. Mm -hmm. And then you got the radiation, you got all of that involved. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I, I'm not into that. I made my son go out and play outside. Uh, my wife, as we talked about, my wife and I were both basically arrested uh. for being for being good parents following Nevada law. We were arrested. We have spent over forty thousand dollars of our own money just to keep uh, out of a cage uh, for lawyers' fees. God. And this mess is still not over with. And so we're heartbroken over that. Oh, no, I get it. And uh, our savings are basically depleted. We're almost bankrupt from this thing. And uh, we want other parents to know, if you're thinking about uh, ever going to Western Hospital, what you need to do is pick up the phone and call Dr. Morse's office instead because we got his botanicals, but before our boy was stolen from us, uh, we only had two days to use Dr. Robert Morse's uh, herbal botanicals. Yes, right. And it's, 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 uh, it's, it's heartbreaking because yeah. we didn't have a fair opportunity to do what we wanted to do according to even their own laws. That's the and thing. And they're it's, saying it's they don't even know their own laws. Yeah. And you had to get your, your ex-husband from China to get the boy out of here yes. to save him. Yes. Mm -hmm. How Honey, bad is that? We have to. Yeah, to save him. Honey, I mean, tell him tell him that uh, uh, Alex came over and uh, had to bring him back to China. Uh, he took the car city to take my boy to Beijing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, but you know, I don't know about how the conditions are there. I know the air is pretty acidic in these areas, but still, for what they're going to do to him, that's it's. it's I, I just it. That's why I do these videos. That's why I stand up. That's why I fight every day mm -hmm. because it gets worse. I mean, when they get your boy, lock him away, and give him chemo, and you don't get to see him, they, they take you as a parent and kick you out of the hospital. Can you speak to, if anything, about, somebody told me recently about pursuing, like, Title 18 lawsuits, where you mentioned the, well, the law, that what I'm saying is it might, it might be a good yeah, remedy, yeah. because they are, it basically says if, if you do anything that harms anybody. Right. That's your remedy, is Title 18. Matter of fact, the name I'm going to give you is pretty familiar with the Title 18s. Uh, but that's where to go, even on the judges, because they don't really, you can blow back on them. They think they're above the law, but you've got a lot of remedy in, 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 in the Title 18 uh, code there. So I, it's been years since I studied all that, because I myself went through hell. Mm -hmm. And then I just, I had to back away because I, I needed to, to continue with this. Uh, because when you're fighting the government, and they're corrupt as ours, mm -hmm. and you're fighting basically the World Bank, and that, that line, you wonder why Britain hasn't broken off yet. I mean, it's that World Bank, the power of the world banker. Yes. And all that that implies, mm -hmm. you know, for those that study that, that would also be the Rockefeller's department, that all that that implies. The other thing I wanted to mention about what happened to us, in addition to them taking, say, police <sighs> action against us, which is totally illegal. For nothing. Is For this, nothing. Well, this is the other thing that they do, just so you know, and the viewers know this, they destroy your lives twice, because what they do is... You've got a custody battle, and then you've got, a, a, say, like a, a criminal battle. And at the custody level, when you go to juvenile court, you have no due process, and basically the yeah. judges are on the take yeah. at CPS. Yeah. Orders. They're taking their orders from CPS. Tell them, yeah. And so it's heartbreaking that you never get to even get in a word in edgewise to say, look, this is what happened. Let me tell my side of the story. At least try to get some kind of fair mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, outing on the truth here. No, no, no. You got shut down immediately. Yeah. And there's so many people, yeah. like even in even in Nevada, there's a veterans group that are keeping an eye on what's going on. And they already wrote some article that says there's carnage 
in Clark County uh, juvenile court system. Oh, wow. You know, it's really what I'm saying is you have a lot of systemic yeah. problems, yeah. and everybody, even when they send it to the higher courts, in other words, they make a report and they send it to the higher courts. Everybody's looking the other way. It's like, well, where's the accountability? What, in other words, what does it actually take to get people to be accountable? It makes you wonder. The, you've got district court judges are they don't rule on the law or the merit. Most of them are corrupt. The appellate courts. I've been in the appellate courts. They're corrupt as hell. I mean, you go on up, and you know, and you get into a, a, a Supreme Court. Now you're still fighting a little corruption because you have those that are Democrats or Republicans, and they're not supposed to rule on you know on on anything but the merit or the law. No, that's not what you get. So it, it, it's hard to get any law that's totally detached and for the law itself, the freedom of the Constitution, then we're talking about the constitutional law, common law versus the statutes. But I can tell you, his message is the same as mine. Mm -hmm. Get your children healthy. Get your, yourselves healthy, because this is not good, what they do to your children. All the way to 17, remember that young 17-year-old? They stole her out of the house. They, they took her, you know, against her will, bruised her up, fighting her strapped her down in bed and gave her chemo. 17 years old, and it was ruled by the Supreme Court that that was legal. Really? I mean... How could it be? See, that's that's the point. That was the Connecticut Supreme Court. So if you're from Connecticut, maybe you ought to move out. It's the more people that stand up for their rights against, say, CPS and the police that don't even follow Nevada law, the doctors that don't follow Nevada law, all these entities breaking the law openly and egregiously, they need to be put in check. It's not right. I mean, uh, the, the parents, actually, there is a Nevada statute, NRS 126.036, which says parents have a fundamental right to the care, custody, and management of their child. Well, don't you think when you're looking at the care, custody, and management of your child, it involves the medical decisions I of the child? I think you could ran that law up there, but... I would, because right. that's a statute, that's passed, that's a law, you can ram up their butt, you know, because you, it's not like you were doing nothing, mm -hmm. you're very conscious of health, you've had years of studying health, yes. so it's not like you're stupid and you're, you're starving your child, you're, you want to get your child healthy, and you're, there's, the, the medical doctors are not the only way, because if you claim that, then you just violated antitrust laws. Because if you claim the medical modality is the only modality that, that has a jurisdiction over people, then you just broke major antitrust laws because that ain't true. You can't have a monopoly, even medically you can't, and they do. And that's where the problems are, too. That's quite, that's so uh, uh, apropos because um, what I argued mm -hmm. in, in some of the legal uh, documents that I had to produce for the attorneys is I said, now wait a minute, I said, Western medicine ain't the only game in town. Right. What are we looking at? You have naturopathic medicine, you have homeopathic medicine, right. you have traditional Chinese medicine. Yeah. I said, any one of those other modalities is a free choice of a free individual or free parents or should be, right? I mean, well, the queen uses yes. a homeopathist, so come yeah. on, man. Right. You know, and we're still kind of. UCC, Britain's Law. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, it's uh, crazy. It is. It is you crazy. Know? And you got these cops out here thinking UCC is, 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 is the law, you know, and they just, they don't have no clue. They don't know what color of law is. They don't have any idea of these, these kids like that. So what we're faced with now is a, 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 a continuation of this, this situation whereby our, our son is in Beijing and we, we, we are the enemy of CPS that if we even try to bring him back, we can't look after him without, say, Mother May I oh get custody God. back. In other words, it's completely asinine. And so what we'd have to do is arrange for a temporary custodian to, to look after him, and then we have to do battle with CPS to try to get him back. I mean, and again, we've done nothing wrong, and we've been bankrupted through this whole process, and it's... It's like okay, we're looking for some help. We would if you can find the help. right attorney, but you have to. You can't go to attorneys out here. You got to find someone that's dealing in governmental overreaches mm -hmm. that knows how to go after them in that way. I'll give you the name of this one guy. Okay, thank and you. And he's really good, mm -hmm. and you can see where he'll guide you from that. Mm -hmm. But uh, he hates that just as much as we do. Yeah. And he just wrote, he just got a book out, and you would love his book because it it goes all the way back to the beginning and how the law was brought all the way forward. He studied court cases from the yin-yang way back. I mean, this guy, you don't want to ever get articulate with him law because you ain't going to go anywhere. A judge would never go anywhere with him. He's been in front of judges, and 
18, the judges just can't go anywhere because this guy goes shut you right down. Mm -hmm. So he's good at what he does. He knows so much again. It's just like a brain that's crammed full and can't to get it out. But that would be the best help, at least right now, that I can tell you. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of looking at that, I would definitely be going after that. If it happened to me, then I'm going to be looking at some of this uh, common law stuff that I can go after. And you definitely have a statute right there. That's pretty plain nose on the face of that statute of Nevada. You can't beat that. You know, saying that you have the right mm -hmm. to, to seek other forms of treatment. That's a pretty tough law. But then on, added on top of that, that would fit with our uh, our um, law that we can't have, uh, um, you know, antitrust, we can't have uh, antitrust laws. Yeah. We, can't, we can't have one, one modality, no matter what right. it is, dominating. And that's true with all of that. And that's what they've created, a monopoly. Yeah, so when you go into the court system, the only thing they're interested in is a MD's medical testimony. You're like, wait a minute, you just boxed us into a corner. There, there have to be other people that can testify as to the validity right. of other modalities right. that are, are superior right. that's what in every need. way, shape, or form. You need someone that's well-versed and you can shut those guys down and make right. them look stupid as they are because they are stupid. Yes. Where are they going to go? Right. You know, there was five medical doctors on this one case. And this court-appointed psychiatrist called me, and she says, those five medical doctors think you're crazy. I said, oh, really? Well, let's start. Let me take you on a journey. Mm -hmm. I took her on a journey through the body, through this thing. By the time I was done, she released the kid. Yes. You know, I mean, where are they going to go? They don't know anything. Right. All they know is pharmaceuticals and come, they're, they're lost in narcissism. Where are they going to go? See, but they'll, they'll listen to you and they'll respect you. My wife and I, oh, you know, our rights were completely trampled on over and over again. Isn't that sick? Again. And then a lot of times they don't even respect me. So, I mean, I mean, it gets, you know, you're talking about pure narcissism. Mm -hmm. You know, this is what, that's what academics can lead to if you're not too careful. You know, and then you're sitting there and you're so narcissistic and your chest is out and you're the most stupid person. I mean, that's just how it goes. Well, I'll do the best I can with my side of this. Mm -hmm. Any viewers out there that know the attorneys or involved, because I know there's a lot of viewers here that are running with their kids. Yeah. Because now we're dealing in cancer issues or, you know, diagnosis of, let's say, leukemia or something like that. Things that are easy to fix. You know, we had one young, nine-month-old baby that had a tumor behind her eye, and they wanted to remove her eye. And um, before they could grab the child hitter, we had it out. Oh. We saved the baby's eye and got the tumor out. Okay. But you see, they don't even know why the baby would have a tumor. Why would oh. that baby have a tumor behind the eye? And what system is that tumor involved in? They don't know any of that. So how can you have someone that can't even define any of this, mm -hmm. even be allowed to dictate any type of direction, or, or uh, especially loss of, of, um, of uh, jurisdiction? Right. You know, because... Well, then you you looked at the birth certificate stuff from jurisdiction. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's crazy. It's all get out too. Like birth certificate versus the birth certificate, and you know you have to claim your child within a month or whatever it is, or the state claims them, and all that's going on with that. I mean it, it is it's a they they they've given so much corruption. It got so far out there. I don't think anybody. It's all a mess. Mm -hmm. They need a netch a sketch. <laughs> Let's just wipe it all out and start over. 